Welcome to Carpet Ebuy. My name is Kate and I would like to take you on a journey to Iraq and show you the culture and how the carpets are produced there. The city of Iraq is located at 1,750 metres above sea level and 260 kilometres southwest of the capital, Tehran. It has a population of 600,000 who predominantly speak Persian. The surrounding land is fertile and grain, barley and fruits such as walnuts, almonds and especially grapes are grown. Iraq is one of the main industrial cities of Iran. It possesses various heavy industrial plants primarily for the metal and machinery industries. The landscape of Iraq is much like other Iranian cities where you can see mosques with minarets, older clay houses with wind towers and a large bazaar. There are many different artisans in the bazaar such as coppersmiths, tailors and shoemakers. The bazaar is a venue for a variety of products, clothing, footwear, textiles, jewellery, household items, food and spices amongst others, and of course carpets. Naturally, the bazaar also sells all the materials required for weaving carpets, such as patterns, looms, tools, cotton yarn for the warps and of course dye and pre-coloured wool. Dyeing the wool is a demanding process. It requires considerable experience and skill to attain the right shades and for the carpet to retain its beautiful lustre. When weaving a carpet, the warp must be set correctly, otherwise the carpet will soon lose its shape. Hundreds and thousands of small pieces of yarn form the fringe and the patterns on the carpet. When the entire line is complete, one or more wefts are threaded between the warp to hold the knots into place, and then it is all packed down with the heavy comb. When the carpet is finished and the last knots have been made, it is cut down from the loom and the pieces of warp are tied together. Then the edges are trimmed and the carpet is cleaned and left out in the sun to dry. The Iraq area is of great interest for many carpet enthusiasts due to the beautiful patterned rugs that are made there. The city is relatively new, with the major construction of the city having been completed in 1852. Iraq is at times still referred to by the city's original name of Sultanabad. Around the 1800s, the art of weaving carpets became more popular in the then-named city of Sultanabad, Saruk and Farahan. Today, much of the production is adapted to the Western market, which affects the patterns, colours and thickness of the carpets and makes them very sought after. A dominant central medallion with the surrounding fields of the rugs or backgrounds of the carpet kept either plain or decorated with flowers and arabesques are common patterns for these carpets. Rugs from this area are often made in larger sizes, which are durable and of high quality. Carpet Ebay hopes you had a great journey to Iraq. Welcome back.